Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Bob's Woodshop. My family and I have been watching a TV show called The Queen's Gambit on Netflix. And we've been having a lot of fun with that. And that series, which is only eight episodes, inspired this project. So I've been doing a lot of veneering projects and I cut up some one and three quarter inch strips of walnut and maple, taped them together. And here I'm using this piece of mahogany as a spacer in order to make the chess uh, pattern. I did the blue tape and then from there I taped on the veneering tape. From there we had to cut up this special wood. It's called Maroki. It's African cherry. And this is being cut by my friend and mentor Craig Newton who has taught me veneering this year. So the border is actually some tiger maple, about a 3 8 inch strip, as well as the maroki, which is about 3 inches wide. Here we're doing an exact fit on the maroki, and in order to get that perfect, we're cutting that with a razor knife. So this is what the panel looks like all glued up. This maroki is just fabulous. When you see this at the end of the project, you're going to see what I mean. This almost has a shimmering effect to it. Here we got to put up some glue on the panel. This is a cold press glue. We're going to do what we've done on a lot of the other projects that I've done where we're going to put this in a vacuum press. It's very important to get the glue spread out very carefully and very evenly. And, and when you do that, it helps a lot to make sure that the veneer does not pop up or bubble up on you. So this is a very crucial step. And Craig's doing the final leveling of the glue here. Very critical step. From there, we use a seam roller to get the glue spread out all over the bottom of the panel. Again, all these steps in the veneering are relatively easy, but they are critical and every one of them has to be done right. From there, we put it in a vacuum bag. There's the vacuum pump. And Craig has all this equipment at his shop. I'm very grateful for everything he's taught me about veneering. So once the bag is in place and everything's set to go, you put a veneering hammer against the surface again to try to get that panel really pressed into the glue and make sure you just have that spread out very, very well. So you leave it in the bag for an hour and then you can start working on it. So I took it back to my shop and I'm just making sure I got one square edge using my crosscut sled. And once I got one good square edge on both the plywood and the veneer panel, I can take it back and I'm cutting this at 18 and a half inches by 18 and a half inches. Of course, always being careful around the table saw. This is the bottom of the panel and you have to do something on the bottom since there's veneered on the top. So I'm putting a heavy coat of shellac here. I think I'll let that dry for about an hour. So I figured out the size of the sides. This is a quick drawing of the sides. I wanted the drawers to be at least one and five eighths inch in depth. Here I'm cutting up some paduk using my Bosch glide saw. I've mentioned several times this saw is fantastic. This is a 12 inch saw. So this is one inch paduk and I love working with paduk. It just machines very nicely and it's got a great look with that orange effect that it has. From there I had to do a little bit of joining over near the car there. And then from there I'm just cutting it up to size which was three and five eighths. So I needed four pieces, obviously, since this is a square. 
If you've not used Paduk in the past, give it a try. It's great for cutting boards and works really good in this particular application also. So once I had them cut the width and length, I'm just cutting a round over on the router table here. Yeah, I wanted that rounded top. So easy project. This is just all basic milling. Okay, once the rounded top was done, I needed to cut a long plow in the top. So that would take the three quarter inch panel and the veneer panel. So I actually had to make two different passes here because this is a three quarter inch bit and it needed to be slightly wider than that. From there I needed to cut a little relief down on the bottom and this is for a half inch piece of plywood which will be the bottom and that is slightly off the bottom of the paduke because I'm going to put rubber feet at the bottom of this. Here I'm cutting up some quarter inch plywood and this is going to end up being the two drawers. So now I'm going to cut at the length and I'm paying particular attention to make sure the board is against the fence so this does not kick back. This could also be done on a cross cut sled. Here I'm making the final cuts of length on the pieces of paduke which are the sides and ends and you see I got a stop block over there to make sure I'm cutting everything to the exact same size so once you got the stop block it's real easy just cut all four pieces so here's a dry fit and I'm using a band clamp and I'm liking what I'm seeing. I really like this a lot. The wood on the top is almost going to have a holographic effect. It's that Maroki I was telling you about. Here I'm cutting up the dividers for the drawers for the individual pieces. And here I'm using a technique that's usually used in box making. And I wanted to just make sure all the pieces were exactly at the right length. So here's a dry fit of the pieces. Now there, you see there's five slots in here. I'm going to end up cutting that middle slot out of there. Once happy with the dry fit, I'm going back and starting the glue up process with one of my solder flux brushes. So from here I put a coat of shellac on and followed that up with four coats of lacquer which I did not get on video and here my daughter's helping me put the paint on for the flocking and we just got to make sure that we get all these different surfaces I did some she's doing some and then I'm doing the video in there and from there I'm using the flocking which is a great technique this is so much better than trying to cut little pieces of felt for this this makes it an exact fit all the way around and it might be a little bit messy but the end result is very nice. So you have to wait 24 hours for that paint to dry. So this was this morning and from there I'm just blowing out all the extra and you can see I'm <laughs> doing this outside because again it's the real fine powder and I really don't want that all over my shop. So obviously I had to make two of these. I still got to clean up some of that uh, paint drip on the back side of that. And then from there we're taking it inside. Here my daughter and I are taking out some chess pieces. She's challenged me to make my own chess set which I'm a wood turner so I'm gonna to have to do that also but in the meantime I have got this set from uh, Amazon and I was anxious to get the board set up so that's what we're doing now so my daughter Allison has just learned how to play chess so I taught her one game and then on the second game she beat me <laughs> so she was really paying attention 
when we were watching The Queen's Gambit. Again, that is a show on Netflix, and I'd highly recommend, if you have not seen that yet, to go ahead and see it. Even if you're not a chess player, The Queen's Gambit is one heck of a series. It's only eight episodes. And there you can see that holographic shimmering effect on the Maroki on the top. So you might notice I cut some grooves in the center of the sides. And that was a two-part philosophy there. I wanted some finger grooves in order to pick the board up. And I also wanted to distinguish the sides from the drawer fronts. So that makes it real easy. Now I just finished the board today. I got to wait about a week. And then I'm going to put some wax on the top of this. But I want the lacquer to really dry and cure well. And I'm going to do that in about a week's time. So we are really looking forward to playing a lot of games of chess on this. Overall, I think this came out fabulous. I'm really happy with it. And I hope you like the project. Maybe this will inspire you to make something similar. Veneering is a new hobby for me, and I'm just having a blast with it. You might want to check out some of my other veneering videos. So thanks for tuning in today. I really appreciate you spending a few minutes of your day with me. And you know the drill. If you like my content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And always, please remember to wear your safety glasses. Woodworking is tons of fun, but can be dangerous. So until next time, I'll see you on another episode. Bob's Woodshop. Bye-bye.